Kitty, should we show them the mess on the deck? Should we? Okay, we will. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and today I'm going to show you what's not going on. You know, that's not really true. Even though it does not look that nice, let me tell you something. I made breakfast this morning, everything from the deck. I made dinner the other night. I needed a salad, everything from the deck. So it's not quite that bad, but it could be a whole lot better had I put a little more time into it. But with all the other gardens and things I was doing, I didn't really change a lot up, but I did do some stuff. So let's kind of do a quick spin on the deck because we've got a rainstorm coming in. And it's not just a rainstorm. Right now we have nice weather. It's going to start pouring, they say, tonight. But the worst part is we're going to get into the 30s. So starting in the beginning of the week, yeah, kitty, 32 degrees, 36, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So let's kind of start, let's start here. This is a fun place to start. This is ginger growing in a dishpan. See how our weather's changing? Things are starting to blow. And I even have lettuce growing here and a little tomato plant came up. I didn't plant that. There is some walking onions back there. Now, these are pieces of ginger in a dish pan where when I'm eating, I slice off pieces. I've got a whole video on that. So that grew. We'll see what happens later with that. And then here, this is turmeric. Remember, turmeric's got the larger leaf. It's down there. Now, that came from just the skin as well. Again, in a smaller dish pan, but it's got lift vertically. So the turmeric is actually growing in here and I can put anything I want in there. Then here is purslane. Now, I don't want the purslane. I've got some walking onions, garlic chives. The issue is the goldfinches and there's been other birds coming up here like the Buick's wren. There's been so many birds looking for food that I decided to leave a lot of it on the deck right now for the birds as we go into winter, but start to change a few things up. Now this is a cutting in here. You can see it here. See, this is off of something in my garden. This is that really beautiful brassica. That's a three-way that I grew. See the purple in there? So I've got a cutting growing in the pot. I can move it anytime with some flat leaf parsley, more parsley there, more garlic chives. Now this I cleaned up a little bit. This is my stevia and this surprised me. After I cut it all the way back, it's coming back. It's kind of the wrong time of the year to come back so nice but that's okay. It's probably the wool is reflecting light as well as it's warm. Because right now, if it was hot, Stevie doesn't like it hot. So that is really good. My oregano definitely needs out. Let me step this way because the sun is so bright. I'm going to split this into three or four plants, hopefully soon. And this is, this is nothing. This is just purslane here. And then there I'm going to redo a lot. That's some chocolate mint and a lot of those pots, I just let them go. Now this is cool. This is the hood that was made out of placemats, table mats, that I get at the dollar store. This was one table mat, but this is what I like. Let's take this off. I'll sit this right now here. This protects my lettuce, and this doesn't look like much, but I made a whole salad out of this last night. I use the outer leaves and let it keep growing and growing until it's done. Got a little sal thistle growing there. I'll leave that for the birds later, and I'll decide on the tomato plant when I want to do, and that's dill. But the rest of it, besides some of the south thistle coming through, is all lettuce. I just kind of sprinkled some lettuce in there and let it do its thing. And it worked out really well. See, I have containers so I can take soil from different pots, mix it up, and then replant. That's what I'm doing. And I have to be careful because that was another issue here. I did lose a lot, I will tell you, on some of the potting soil I bought from a grocery store really cheap. I thought I was getting a deal, and in the long run, I lost a lot of plants. They simply didn't grow. I'll show you a pot over there in a minute that's not growing anything. Now, this is a pomegranate that I've got to do something with. Either get rid of it, because it basically wiped out all my strawberries, or plant it in the yard. And so I might, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might compost it. See, that's the pomegranate left in the pot. Now, this is celery. This is just some curly kale. And then this is walking onions. This is that melon it never finished and i don't even know what happened to the little melons it's still trying to grow but it's not going to grow i'm not sure what it was you saw it on the last garden tour something i grew obviously but i just didn't remember so we'll see what happens with that i'm going to dig it all out later in the spring and start over unless it takes off now 
I had the patio tomatoes growing in here, which of course died back, but because they're a determinant, I put a cabbage in here and this has come up. This is a papaya. So for now, because we're gonna go into winter, I'm gonna leave the papaya and being on this three tier I made, I can move it. So if it gets really cold, I can move it up against the wall of the house, the stucco and keep it warm if it looks like it's struggling. And then I'm gonna plant this out in the garden later in the spring when the weather starts to warm. Here is just stuff I really didn't do anything with. Personally, more for the birds. I've got some more garlic chives back there. Oh, there's my moringa. Moringa is still doing good. Can you believe it? It's been growing for a couple years now in that pot back there. And it's got a little one on the bottom. Some seeds must have went there. So it's growing there. And then I've got some Swiss chard. Nothing with nothing. Now, this are tomatillos. See? So I'm going to get tomatillos if the weather stays a little warm. But if it freezes, I don't know what's going to happen. There's one plant in here. And then there's a cutting of a brassica of some sort. But this is still growing really nice. I'm hoping they'll get big or at least good size. They're, they're still a little hollow, but I can't feel fruit in there. No, there's fruit in there, so we'll see. Small or big, it doesn't matter. But isn't that cool? Came up right on the deck here. Again, this is all purslane here. And then she's waiting. Look at this. And then I've got some green sorrel, which again, we had for breakfast this morning. I don't like it raw. It's kind of very lemony, but when you put it in eggs, a little cheese on top, you don't, there's no lemon flavor. It changes when you cook it. So I do like it cooked. I don't like it raw. Personally, I don't like it raw. Now here, I see what I do with the lettuce. This is the romaine lettuce that grows here like a weed. And I love it. That's what you just saw in the other dish pan. That's a dish pan. These are like $3. They're so cheap. Now, this is the lettuce that's coming up all through here. Now, it's not going to grow like this because they're too close together. What will happen eventually is the strongest will survive, but I'm starting to move them out. So this is just a milk carton. I am only put two in there, see? Because if you put too many, they don't grow as good. So one or two is perfect. And I've got them growing on my windowsill. I'll show you that in a minute as well. Oh, some leftover tomato plants. We'll see if they make it through the winter. They're growing both in the dishpan, again, sow thistle. And then it's also growing down there. So it's winding up and growing that way. Let's see, here, this is where I grew the squash. I think I'm going to change this up when I get around to it. I wanna change up the deck still. And we'll, we'll see what happens as time goes on. This is basil, of course, it's not gonna make it here through the winter. I'm not even gonna to try to trick it by wrapping it in plastic or making a little greenhouse around it because I've got basil growing out in the yard, in the garden but I'm just gonna leave it for now. This is an old tote, look at that. It's created a hole and things are growing through it. So we'll see if I leave that or what I should do is change a lot of these to dish pans. I happen to love the dish pans. More south, uh, not south thistle. This is purslane and again, I've been leaving this for the birds because the goldfinches come in and they take the seeds out of the top. These will pop open soon, that's not ready. And they just hang all over here. More garlic chives. See, now this is lettuce, and all I have to do is just take the seeds off. I don't want to, what am I going to do with this? I'm just putting there. And then I have lettuce growing everywhere. Then I've got a purple tree collard. Now this is cool. This is growing in those three trash cans. This collects water in this tub here, so I water it, goes in the second one. But what I like here is it's growing side shoots, so I can in the spring, make a whole bunch of cuttings off of this one. This is just some garlic chives I've got growing. Let's keep going, kitty. Now this is onions. Let's see, short day onions. And I believe, well, this is a mix. I'll have some white, yellow, and red ones in here. I know they're close together, but it works for me. And what will happen is as they take off and grow in the spring, I pick in between. So I'm using small onions and then the rest of them keep growing. More tomato plants just kind of growing everywhere. Here's the two system in here. This will continue to feed. I'm gonna change all this around because not only do I have tomato plants coming up, I still have the purslane. I don't want this much purslane. But you know, again, we had this in our eggs. You can put it in salad, you can use it in tacos. It's really, really good. Let's see here, I've got some beans. Oh, this is garlic. She's still waiting, she, she knows what she wants. This is garlic. I planted this just from the grocery store garlic and look how beautiful it's growing. So I should have some nice garlic later on in the spring. Beans and this is popolo. Now the popolo is done. There's nothing to eat on this. And these are seeds. 
Uh, what's amazing on these seeds is you would think you'd get a ton of these plants everywhere. And I could plant a hundred seeds and get nothing. Because the moment they start to grow, when they're really tiny, that's not popolo. But the moment it grows, because popolo has two skinny leaves. I don't see any here. It's the wrong time of the year for it to grow. Insects eat it right away and birds eat it. So you really have to protect your seeds if you're growing poplo. Once they get the main leaves, two main leaves, then nothing else will touch it. So keep that in mind. It grows great, but it gets eaten by everything. And that's all you have to remember. I saw somebody make a whole field of it and say, we're gonna come back and see it. He didn't come back. Why? Because like I said, everything ate it. They just love it. They'll go through and eat every single one. But if you throw tool over it and protect it until it gets a little size, then nothing will touch it. But this is kind of, I'm trying to see. No, I don't have any right now, but poplar will grow with like a little stringy in the beginning and then it will get its leaves. Just some more garlic chives, tomato plants, nothing with nothing. This is where the hummingbirds come and take their baths. And of course they're in the window now. I'm changing it to Christmas holiday. Oh, I do have some cabbage. I've got cabbage growing there. And then I've got cabbage there and I make my hoods. You know how I make my hoods out of the tote lids. You saw the other one from the placemats. Well, I love making them out of tote lids and it protects it so I don't get the cabbage butterflies laying all their eggs on there and then they will demolish everything, won't they, kitty? I know the sun is bright. You'd be surprised. It's going to change very soon. I can already see it. You wanna see? I'll show you. Look at that. Here come some of the clouds and they're talking major rainstorms. Now this is an old cabbage and I thought this cabbage was done. And what it did, it's been protective, it just split in three ways. This is one cabbage plant. I should be using these leaves. I'll come back and put the top on later. But that just took off on its own. I think that's really cool. More walking onions in there and more tomato plants trying to grow, but we'll see if they grow this time of the year. These are walking onions. See how big they can get? When you see them get this big, they're gonna have a nice little bulb underneath. So you can use them as green onions as well as regular onions. I know what she wants. I gotta see if there is any. See, this is the onion walking. See that they have babies. There's no seeds on these plants. So if somebody tells you they're gonna sell you walking onion seeds, you probably are getting bunching onions. Very rarely, I've only seen it once, will the plant develop some seeds. But then if it does, that means the next generation on that particular walking onion may not grow true. And then you'll end up with bunching onions, not walking onions. And with walking onions, you break that off. I would give it a little more time till this part turns, it starts to turn brown or yellow. And then you just plant the bulbs. You can plant them as a cluster, like you see here. Or if you want to, you can separate them and plant them separate. I'll let me, let's give her this, because she is waiting so patiently. Is this what you want? She loves her broccoli. Yep, that's what she's been waiting for. She's like, no, we're out here doing a video and I love broccoli. She gets little pieces. She absolutely loves it. No, 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 we're not getting any more right now. Tricolored sage is growing in here. And like I said, I haven't done much in here. Let's walk over here. See what I got. We're gonna have to talk about that because that is like one of my newest toys that I happen to love. And it can run that for days. Just absolutely love it. Okay, let's keep going here. These are the carrots and I've been picking carrots. So I've got a, that's probably a big one already. Carrots again, you can grow them in trash cans, one gallon little tubs. These are from the dollar store. This is actually from Dollar Tree and I just kind of took some brown paint. The stuff I get from Home Depot for 50 cents, just lightly brushed it. So it kind of gave it a weave look and it's fantastic. Again, the hood, so easy to make. Go back and check the videos when you're ready to start planting because these are easy to make and it will save your plants. See this one? Not a bite out of it. See how perfect this one is? This one was covered. I uncovered it. Still no bite. And let's see if I can find another one. I had another one around here. And what a difference. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. It's behind me. See this? Now yeah, you're starting to get bites and things on it. But when it's covered, you end up with the perfect. Let's see what's under here. See this? That's weird. These look like. I'm not, you know, this is very odd, but this looks like popolo, and that's what popolo looks like when it first comes up. See those tiny little leaves? Now, if it's not, I'm not sure what this is, but that's exactly what popolo looks like. And this is what all the insects will eat. But if you cover it, I probably had some in here too. Look at that, not a one. It's not covered right now. I uncovered it the other day. 
everything loves this and everything eats it. So that could be poplar, but that's what poplar looks like. And then once the center leaves come out, that will not look like this. They'll look like round leaves, then they won't eat it. They don't like the taste. Okay, now, no, we're not, I'll get you more later. You can't keep eating it, wait a minute. Now this is mint, so I've got mint. I can step out and make tea. And then I've got oregano. I have a celery that's dying back, but this is what I wanted to show you. I've got a couple little things trying to grow in there. This came from some of that soil that was no good. I was trying to grow even grass seeds in there. Look at that, nothing. I tried wheat, I tried lettuce, I tried the purslane, I threw everything in there. And though it will start, they don't grow. So that's gonna be used as a layer. So if I wanted to, I could put a pot on top. Dogs chewed this up, see? I could layer, but I don't want them to mix. So I would have to make sure the pot on top has holes sideways because I don't know what would happen if it would mix. Oh, there's a little walking onion that dried up. And that's, you want to take them off before. This is why some people sell them dry. Now it's got a little bit of green growth, so this one will make it. But if you dry them out, they die. This is a plant. So let me put that somewhere and see if I'm gonna do something with it. More purslane. These are the old carrots and they're gone, the seeds. They're the little tiny round ones. I don't know if I'm gonna mess with them, but I leave it. See the windowsill? Isn't that cool? Oh, I was gonna show you over there. I'm growing spinach. Let's walk over here for a second. Spinach in a cup. I've never grown spinach. You go, what? Nope, I've never grown spinach. And I've been using it. I've been using the bottom leaves when I make a salad, when we're gonna have tacos, we have our greens that we put in there. And I've been growing spinach in cups. There's holes, see the holes? But if I bring it in the house and grow it on the windowsill, then I take this and I put it in a second cup without holes. So this way I don't have water dripping all over. I just have a beautiful spinach plant. Is that cool? So I have it outside, I have it inside. I have it on my windowsill. I have it everywhere. You know, we've made the circle. We have made our circle. This is purslane and this again, I've had the goldfinches hanging around here. It's just so cute. Then I have a little bit of, whoops, I walked into the pole. A little bit of dill. Seeing things do chew up my dill. Insects, birds, they like it when it's small. And then again, I've got, this is the garlic chives. So I've been collecting seeds and I'll put them away and then I'll just toss them somewhere. And more purslane and then again, more walking onions. That's what we have here. So that's what I've been doing here. Before the rainstorm comes in, this is, this is, there's a seed. That is exactly what a garlic chive seed looks like. And then you can grow that. Again, protect it just in case it gets eaten. Look at this. And then this is sow thistle. The birds haven't found it. I was going to save a little bit so I can find places I want it to grow. It is a weed here, but I do use it in our green drinks. I actually came out here, picked some that was out here, and I used, oh, I picked it from in there, in that container there, and I had it for breakfast. So that is what is and is not going on on the deck. But like I said, I still have food. I picked greens from the broccoli that I grow here. Had that in our eggs this morning with some south thistle, some purslane, some green sorrel. There was no onions in there because we shared, right? Though I chop up onions and garlic chives and put that on the side so Gary can sprinkle it in. And I kind of foraged through here. So though it isn't doing a whole lot, I still have plenty of lettuce, and this will be fun to see what happens with the ginger and the turmeric later. I think I'm going to grow more on the deck because I've got so much now I'm growing. So I hope you enjoyed this. Nothing with nothing. <laughs> but I thought, you know, I haven't done it for a while, and I figured, well, let me show you what I'm doing. And this is a new way I'm starting seeds. We'll talk about it in the spring, and I'll tell you exactly how I do it. And you go, wait a minute. You're starting seeds, and you got peppers growing? I know. I love my pencil cases and while I'll show you, I've got, you know, if you're interested, let me know. I've got right now dragon fruit growing in a pencil box and boy, do we have stories on that kitty, don't we? And we're not going to tell them right now because it's too embarrassing. We'll save it for another time when Gary's around. But anyways, we do have dragon fruit growing from seed now and of course we're going to do it by, cut by cuttings, but it was a special fruit. So we, we want to get some seeds going. So that's it. You know what you can do in the winter? Make your hoods. If you know you're gonna grow in dish pans or buckets or flower pots, you can make your hoods to protect your seedlings as you start them in the middle of spring. Once you get them out of the house and you plant them, they'll have hoods. 
You know how I love the hoods I make for the lettuce, because lettuce, it's important to protect because everything will eat your lettuce and you want it clean. And you know, some of you in Hawaii told me that now that you know about these hoods, you can now grow lettuce. I didn't know about what was going on with the different critters out there that can make your plants toxic if they crawl on it. But when you have a hood on it, made out of tool, it protects it. And they're now eating lots of lettuce in areas that they couldn't do it before. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have questions, go ahead and ask. I'll be working on water fountains this year in the winter. I'm going to be doing more seeds, more growing out my window, on my windowsill. And again, I'll be making hoods. And I think I'm going to make some, well, garden decorations out of a lot of the lids I've got because they're so easy to cut up and do. So with that, have a wonderful day and tell them, don't forget to eat what you grow. I know what she wants. She's very upset. You can see it in her face. I have one more, one more piece. One more, one more now. Okay, you can see her face. She gets, she has this very upset look when she doesn't get what she wants. Say bye-bye. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.